Yes, there we are. <laughs> Wonderful. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, good energy, energy. Wonderful. Good morning, Yana. Good morning. <laughs> All right. All right. Let me just look at you for a moment here. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, everybody's over here again. <laughs> well, we're just saving room for all the new people that'll be coming in here. Okay, wonderful. All right, well, let's open, get still for a moment and open our service in prayer. There's nothing like prayer because when we pray, we're talking to God. And when we meditate a little later on, we're listening to the Spirit of God. And it's a complete cycle. So just close your eyes for a moment and take in a deep breath, the breath of life, 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 life. And we say thank you, God, right here, right now, for each of us today and our families and all those in our streaming family that couldn't make it in today and those that are looking in, we thank you too and bless you. And all those that are uh, mending their nets today, we're blessing you wherever you are, knowing that the love, the spirit of God is with you right there, blessing and healing you. Because God is all there is. God is health. God is love. God is presence. God is joy, joy, joy. And as we bless ourselves, bless ourselves right now, blessing you right now, Reverend Larry, Blessing each of you. Just see the spirit of love going from the top of your head all the way down to your feet and just blessing you right now. And say to yourself, I bless me. And feel that. Because we're energy people, feeling people. And now call up the names of those that may be in need of healing and Joy, Beverly, blessings, USA, blessings, Paul, blessings, Reverend Larry, blessings, thank you, Walter, blessings, the Board of Unity's Church, blessings, our musician, the wonderful Marina, blessings, and Lev, blessings. Yana, blessings. All right, wonderful. Just let those blessings go out. Go out. Augustus, blessings. Diana, blessings. The rose. The rose, blessings. And blessing the key family. The key family. Blessings. Shana. And we just all say together, Amen. Amen. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And our first hymn is Father, The Father and I Are One on page 215. And where is my hymnal? <laughs> you have two? Two fifteen. She's playing the melody, and we're going to sing it three times: one for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the whole Spirit of God, which is in us. The Father, Father and I. I
as we stand and affirm our statement of being with conviction. Thank you, God. It's in the bulletin. Together, God is all, both invisible and visible. One presence, one mind, one power is all. This one that is all is perfect life, perfect love, and perfect substance. I am an individualized expression of God. I am ever one with this perfect life, perfect love, and perfect substance. Turning to the back of the bulletin and affirming our purpose and mission statement together. The purpose of Unity East Church is to teach the universal principles of truth as taught and demonstrated by Jesus Christ and interpreted by unity. Our mission is to rediscover the guiding presence of God's presence within us and willingly demonstrate his creative purpose in our lives. And looking at the front of the bulletin, do we all have the same one? Because I know some Sundays we have two or three, but we're all got the flowers here, do we? Let's affirm this. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And that's from Romans 6, chapter, the 23rd verse. And our next song is I am free. I am what? All right, do you know that for yourself? Hmm? That's power in the spoken word. Speak it. Be it. <coughs> a different hymnal? <laughs> you got it? Okay, you're on a different page. Okay. <laughs> Who are you? I am free. I am unlimited. A little faster. There are no chains that bind me. I am free. I am unlimited. Right now. Right now. I am free. I am unlimited, there are no chains that bind me. I am free, I am unlimited right now. Okay, now you got that right now, so uh, never mind looking at your books, you got it by heart right now. So now uh, close it up and say, I am free, I am unlimited, there are no chains that bind me. I am free, I am unlimited, when? Right now, right now. I am free, I am unlimited, there are no chains that bind me. I am free, I am unlimited, right now, right now. That felt, I felt that. Now hug somebody and say, good morning, freedom. All right, come on. Good morning, freedom. All right, mama. Mm -mm. Get up. Go hug somebody. They ain't gonna bite you. Good morning, freedom.
What wisdom? Okay, there I am. <laughs> okay, let me turn it up. <laughs> Let's read to wisdom together. Wisdom or right judgment as spiritual discernment is a mental act of comparison or contrast. In humanity, we appraise, evaluate, and discriminate in order to make correct decisions. And then our uh, church affirmation, Unity East Church is a dynamic, prosperous church that welcomes and supports its members and guests spiritually. To the best of my ability, I prayerfully support Unity East Church with my time, talent, and treasure to keep the church viable. Could you turn me down a bit? Just a bit. Not all, just down. Thank you. All right, all right. Wonderful, wonderful blessing. Okay, we, uh, today is our pancake breakfast. I hope you did not eat before you came in. If so, just press your stomach a little bit on each side to see if there's room for a couple of pancakes. Nobody's pressing. Okay, you got room. Okay. <laughs> Up and coming events. Uh, on May 3rd, we have Animal Pet Blessing. And if uh, your animal uh, does not want to come, bring in pictures of him or her. Uh, we've had, we've got, animals got some attitudes now. Don't You know that, don't you? Uh-huh. So I ain't going to church, to, you know that. But anyway, <laughs> bring in pictures for that. Uh, Saturday, a very, very important occasion, May 9th, that is on a what day? Saturday? Uh, we're having our holistic health fair, and they've got a sheet here of uh, speakers. We've got Sue Fabian doing patient advocacy, uh, that which is very important. Uh, Becky Stevens, uh, we'll read over this white sheet here, but we're asking for volunteers also to help out because we'll have uh, vendors and everything coming in here, and we know that this is going to be a very, very successful experience. And thank you for our group, our planning group. Would you all stand and give them a hand? They are truly working, 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 working. Yes, yes, yes. We appreciate you immensely. And uh, let's see, what else do I have up here? Okay, that's that. And then our, our, our sister church uh, is having a one penny sale. Uh, and that's Saturday the 16th. They're on the same day? No, all oh, good. <laughs> Yeah, a one penny sale from 8 to 2 p.m. at Unity Church of Rochester. And we have our dear friend here that uh, fellowships between both of us. She loves us both. And she uh, is brought that over so that we can share this. I know they had their banquet at one time. Uh, no, they're, yeah, and I went over and experienced that with them, had a wonderful time. Uh, all proceeds to be donated to the Ronald McDonald House. So look at that, we've got a flyer out front there so that you can see, and go over to Rochester and uh, meet the wonderful minister there, Donna Dillsdorf. Wonderful lady, wonderful lady. And then, uh, what else do we got going on here? Uh, you know, our regular um, occurrences, uh, Edgar Casey blood pressure, and uh, bring your money banks in on for Sunday. Uh, and please note the, uh, um, I notice at the bottom there that if you're going to be doing an affair, uh, a turn and need reimbursement, or you want to go to your tides, uh, let Shirley know that within 30 days. Tai Chi is still going on on Wednesday, wonderful class. And then on Thursday, we have our Open Your Mind to Prosperity. This week, we did our fourth chapter, and it was on treasure mapping. And we had so much fun. I said, okay, the class is over. Yeah, but we're not through yet. Uh, well, I'll go ahead. <laughs> so we brought magazines in and we cut out and uh, prayed over and said, what do I want for me in my life? You know, and so it's talking about your finance, your health. So if you're having health challenges, what you see is what you get. 
And I told him the story about the time I had uh, cut out, I needed a car. So I cut out this thing from the magazine and put it up on the wall next to my bed. And every night I would go to bed and not even really thinking about it. Say, I bless you and I uh, thank you for this or something better. And would dive into the sheets and, you know, have a wonderful night's sleep. Well, when my car really went out, I went shopping and I ended up with that exact car. And I did not know it when I went out. It was all these cars I had to choose from, and only one I could afford, and that was it. And the God kids came in and said, God, Daddy, you got the same thing that's on the wall. I said, oh, no, impossible, because I hadn't really looked at it. But anyway, treasure mapping, I've got, uh, you know, a few things here on here that I want. I am an, uh, immortally, I'm on a, a mortal journey, and I am blessed. So whatever it is that you're, and I'm going to open this up to the congregation, because this is a good thing, you know. So I did that 10 years ago, but that was 10 years ago, okay? You're here now, and you got different things going on in your life, and you have different desires now, because it's always what? Now, okay? So I'll uh, get a sheet out there so that you all can sign up and see if we can find the best time for it, okay? It's about improving our lives. I love it. Anyway, that's on Thursday from 2 to 4. We're going into chapter five this week. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. My office hours are here. I may not be here this couple of weeks because we got uh, LNO for the urban school going on. We've got ministers coming, 40 of them coming in from all over the United States to go through their testing to see if they are at the level they need to be at. And we have five that will be ordained into the ministry. So that's a wonderful thing. Online, okay? So you don't have to leave your home to get the training and to do the do. At the bottom there, we have our financial information. Please look at that. On the back, love this. First timers, please sign our guest register in the foyer. And there's a train a coming and it's going somewhere. Okay. The talent train is pulling into the station. The what? The talent train is pulling into the station May 17th, right here on this platform, our annual talent show. Uh, what we need today is uh, people that have talent they want to share with everybody else here. Sign up. There'll be a sign up sheet at uh, the uh, book corner there. Uh, tickets will be on sale next Sunday uh, for the event. It's a fundraiser, $10 for a ticket. Uh, food will be served at 6 o'clock. Show starts at 7 o'clock. Tickets go fast, and you want to get your friends involved in this because it's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. uh, we have a lot of great talent that comes in here uh, from the outside. But we have great talent from inside uh, Unity's that likes to get up here and uh, display their talents uh, for you. So I understand uh, the Dukes of Unity will be here, yes. the Blues Brothers, yes. uh, George Brothers, yes. Old Blue Eyes, really? uh, Gene Pitney, oh, uh, and fun. a whole host of other things. The sisters of Nunley will the be here. The sisters of Nunley. Yes. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> be a, so any of you that have a talent at all, whether it's reading a poem, uh, uh, telling a story, uh, doing stand-up, uh, whatever it might be, uh, shining shoes, you know, we, we can, we'll have people that take will, advantage of that. How many so. will they do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many shoes can you do in a couple of minutes? Uh, but any talents you have you'd like to share with us, it's a fun night. Uh, for all of us to enjoy and uh, for, for us to bring friends and neighbors who would like a night out and enjoy themselves as well. So mark that on your calendar, May 17th, that's a Sunday, starts at 6 p.m., the food will be served, and then at 7 p.m. the show starts. Thank you. Okay. Now, the $10, that's for the food, but the talent show is free, right? No, is it? The, no the talent will cost you lots of money. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. We take credit cards at the door and then we charge them and give them back to you on your way out. He's kidding. <laughs> we have fun here. We have fun here. Yeah. But now I would like for us to affirm every day, in every way, I am better and better, for only God's good happens to me and through me. Thank you. And I move this into the program here, rather than having a lot of sheets of paper, the invocation prayer. So let's do that right now so we can have that up front and move into our service. 
for those that may not have it memorized, it's in the bulletin underneath our everyday affirmation. Together, we are now in the presence of pure being, immersed in the Holy Spirit of life, love, and wisdom. We acknowledge thy presence and thy power, O blessed Spirit. In thy divine wisdom now, erase our mortal limitations, and from thy pure substance of love, bring into manifestation our world according to thy perfect law. Amen. And we have prayer facilitators here that will meet you right here if you'd like personal prayer after the service. And do bring in the toiletry articles for uh, Salvation Army. The people will be getting the food and things that you will be bringing in. And we had a memorial service here yesterday. One of our parishioners, uh, Linda Daisy Key, we had her service here. Her family came out and we had a wonderful time with that. Uh, so keep the uh, Shannon uh, carrier is our uh, contact and then Linda was here also so keep the key family and the carrier family in prayer and there's been some confusion about our memorial service for Sandy Leonard uh, uh, I heard that it was on the Memorial Day weekend which would be the 25th but it is actually on the 31st so that we know the date uh, okay 31st the actual Memorial Weekend. Okay, got that? That's our Sunday after service at 2 o'clock. Uh huh. And we'll, uh, Wade will have some of these for you to remind, remember as we get closer to that time. Is that right, Wade? Okay, he flung that door open when he heard that. Okay, we're good. All right, well, let's get ready for meditation by singing our Lord's Prayer. we gently close our eyes and take in another deep breath of life. Hear it coming in through your nostrils and going up to the very top of your head on the inside and slowly moving down, just blessing and touching and healing every part of your innards, your brain, your eyes, your nose, ears. And as it moves down your inner, say in your mind, peace, 
be still. For I know that I am God, the I am of me. God's name is I am. Peace, be still. And as this wave of relaxation is moving down through out your body temple. See it as a white light if you choose to. And in the midst of this white light is gold essence. And that gold essence is healing. And as it moves throughout your body temple, and you take in a second deep breath, pushing that first one down a little deeper moving slowly throughout your beingness because we are not only physical beings, human beings, we are spiritual beings and right now our spirit is being activated even more so. And any conditions in your body, any conditions in your body, see that golden essence just encum encapsulating that area of your beingness and just shrinking it up, absorbing it, doing its mighty work of healing. See it, believe it, receive it. And then blow that air out. And as it hits the air here, it becomes good, clean, reusable air again. God is magnificent, marvelous, marvelous, marvelous. Let me say thank you, God. Dear God, I pray for more love in my perception about myself. Thank you, God. And all others, more love. I pray that you touch me with a profound sense of awareness allowing me to see the good in myself and others. I ask in prayerful meditation for an anointing of your love, for an anointing of your love, moving throughout my beingness, especially my brain as I think love, and my wisdom faculty as I feel love. For we love the idea of life, and, and we fall in love with life that God has given us. Everything we need is already within us at different levels of understanding. So I want you to see yourself filled with the spirit of love, of life, the very life of God within you right here, right now. And you love your body as a temple of the Holy Spirit. I bless my body. I thank my body for taking me through each moment of the day, each hour, each day, day after day. Thank you, body, for supporting me, for breathing me, for, for seeing through and hearing and all the parts that God has given us to use. I bless, we bless our bodies and the Holy Spirit that is within us. For we love and praise and give thanks for the life that God that is in us and the life that God that heals, restores, and makes new. And we love the life that is in each other. But in this silence right here, right now, let's love ourselves and as others come to mind, while you're in this silence, love and bless them right now. In the silence, 
love it is. Thank you, God, for the love that I am.